Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach Project. This one is about advanced audio mixing and processing in video making. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. Which one of the following is not a main audio source? Option A. Voice over. Option B. Compression. Option C. Noise reduction. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option A. Some of the more advanced techniques for audio mixing and recording include noise reduction, equalization, compression, reverb, change of tempo, and converting audio files. Question number two. Equalization is used to adjust the frequency balance of audio signals. Which one of the following is not a type of EQ? Option A, graphic equalization. Option B, parametric equalization. Option C, static equalization. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Graphic EQs consist of a series of faders or sliders, each representing a specific frequency band. You can raise or lower the level of each band to adjust the overall frequency balance of the audio signal. Parametric EQs allow you to adjust not only the level, but also the frequency and bandwidth Q of each EQ band. This provides more precise control over the shape and character of the EQ curve. Question number three. Which process is used to reduce the dynamic range of audio signals? Option A, compression. Option B, reverb. Option C, panning. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is A. Compression reduces the dynamic range of audio signals by attenuating the louder parts while boosting the quieter parts. This helps to control the overall level of the audio, making it sound more consistent and polished. Compression is commonly used on the voices of speakers or on some dynamic instruments. Question number four. How can you change the tempo of an audio file? Option A. Recording it while playing the audio slower or faster. Option B. It is an option in audio editing software. Option C. Once recorded, you cannot change it. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is B. The option to change the tempo of an audio file can be found in most of the popular audio editing software. Using it is very easy and intuitive. Question number five. Do we need to convert audio files before uploading videos on a given platform? Option A. No, it is not necessary. Option B. Yes, all audio files have to be HD. Option C. Yes, we have to convert them to a format supported by the platform. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Not all of the available audio formats are supported on every one of the video sharing programs. Thus, if we would like to publish our video recordings on a certain platform, we first need to check if our file is in a supported format, and if it is not, to try and convert it. 
Congratulations! This is the end of the quiz about advanced audio mixing and processing in video making. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it you can try another one from the Video Teach Project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.u. All the content of the Video Teach Project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.